Hey guys, I'm gonna show you something a little interesting today. This right here is the Snap Circuits Motor M7. See? This is from Snap Circuits Motion. Um, or Snap Circuits Lite, I can never remember. But, you notice it looks different. I took the, the fan off along with the module that went with it. The module was the one was the, the little circuit board that made it light up. I took all of them off and this is what it looks like bare. Um see that's the motor shaft right there. And uh it's just to prove that it is M7. See M7. And there's the positive. There's the bottom and uh, today I'd like to show you something interesting. You notice this kind of looks like the motor M1, the original motor from Snap Circuits. Um, I actually have one right here. Um, so we can compare. This is the motor M1 on the on the left, and this the and this is the motor M7 on the right. You notice the motor M7 is a little bit shinier than the M1. Um, and, uh, there's actually some very major differences with these, um, you can't really notice the difference if you're looking at them from the top, just that these holes on the motor M7 are slightly smaller than the ones in the M1. And I find that the M1, the casing that holds the motor, I feel like the motor inside is a bit looser than the M7, and, uh, there's a couple of major differences on the bottom. Look carefully. Look. Here on the motor M1, it has these two metal things. It's got one there and one there, and they lead up to, mo to the motor. Take a look at this. The motor M7 doesn't have them. It just has these wires um, connected that are connected directly to the motor using a soldering iron. So... That's a bit of a major difference. And you notice that the uh, the bottom of the motor M7, the bottom of the actual motor part, you notice it's a bit more grayish than the motor M1. You can see it's a bit more white. And uh, now for a major, major difference. I have a, I have a uh, 4.5 volt battery pack here from uh, Snap Circuits Arcade, I think. Yeah. So... I'm going to put the motor M1 on here. Notice how fast the motor's going? It's going pretty fast, right? Well, now I'm going to put the motor M7 on there. It's much slower. That's the biggest difference between these two motors. This motor has a lot more resistance than this one does. In fact, oh, um, I find that this motor, it's harder to spin it with, with my hand than it is with the motor M1. So the motor M7 has a lot more friction than the motor M1. And uh, I just noticed this. Is another, there's another difference too. Let me take the motor M7 into the light for a second. Wait for the camera to focus. Not sure if you can see that, but there's some there's a series of numbers on the bottom. Right there, or on the side rather. Um now let's take the motor M1 into the light. On both sides, there's nothing. So that's a difference. And uh, they both have uh these two things. Just the ones on the M7 are just a little bit bigger than the ones on the M1. And the motor shaft is exactly the same. Just a little bit more shinier on the M7, which is on the right. And yeah, so that was just a comparison between the M1 motor and the M7 without the uh, the um, the fan and the little circuit board. It looks kind of interesting. Um, it's very similar to the M1 without the
the motor, the like the fan and the circuit board. But it's also got some major differences. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Peace.